you know you would like It really ain't a problem Got a couple of dollars and five of the beat We can do this shit for life Now if you wanna move it here We can get it I'm trying to put you up Let me know if you want it But first you gotta get it Get it, get it First you gotta get it Welcome to Life of Ava Catrice. Today, I'm going to do a little bit of a product demonstration slash second impressions because I did already try this product. I not only tried this product once before, I filmed it and subsequently lost all the footage. So you won't get to see my first impression, but you get to see me try it again. This is the Moroccan Oil Color Depositing Mask for light to dark brown hair in the color Bordeaux. Now this is meant to be a hair treatment mask which also deposits color into the hair and gives it kind of like a Bordeaux tint. When I originally tried this mask, it was about two months ago, I would say, yeah, it was like right in the beginning of March. All of my ends in my natural hair were like a honey tone. Now, what ended up happening was this did definitely tint all of my ends, that Bordeaux color, but all of the dark brown hair that I have, like, grown from the root, was, like, unchanged. <laughs> Literally unchanged. Not that, um, but it, I also felt like it's supposed to be deep conditioning, but I felt like my hair was a little crunchy after. So this time around, I mean, it's all washed out, but my ends did definitely not revert back to honey. They're kind of like now staying some weird, like orangey brown color, which I don't care. Um, I have been just letting my hair be out, be natural. We've been in the sun a lot. I'm in the Caribbean for a couple months. So we've been at the beach and just, I haven't really been doing all that much to it. Anybody that ever asks me how my hair grows back after I chop it off every time and it's dead, I literally don't do much to it. Keep it moisturized and just let it do its own thing. So before I use this, in today's second attempt, I'm going to condition my hair, detangle it. I'm going to use this, leave it in for a bit longer than I did the first time and attempt to get it to stick to some of the darker tone in my hair. Rinse it out, and then I'm gonna put a hair treatment mask on that's an actual conditioning mask and see if it helps with the texture to keep it like soft so it doesn't get all like dry and crunchy. Like, I kind of felt like this did the, the first time around, but we'll see. I'm about to try it out right now. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Whew, sorry, I'm hot, it's 90 degrees here today. I just got out of the shower. I roughly, with my hand, separated my hair into four parts, put some conditioner, let it sit there for a few minutes. I rinsed it out. I combed each section to the best of my ability. I'm a lazy natural, so <laughs> that's just a matter to it. In any case, I'm gonna take it down and then I'm gonna apply the mask section by section. Now, generally, when I do my hair, I usually start at the back and I work my way towards the front, but because I kind of want most of the color to deposit in the front, and I don't know how far this is gonna stretch since I already used it once and it's feeling a little, it's feeling a little light, I'm gonna start in the front and then I'll just use whatever I have left over in the back. Oh, <laughs> also, well, here's just a, a shot of my hair. A little damp, a little damp, see? Just, it says damp towel dried hair on the bottle, so, you know, a natural since t shirt, not a towel, but we do our best, we leave the rest. Okay, here we go. The first time when I did it, I used my bare hands and <laughs> my nail polish turned into like a dual chrome from this pigment and my hands were stained like a raspberry purple color for like three days. Just break a little section. I'm working with very minimal tools in this activity in quarantine over here, so don't mind. I don't have all types of clips and dips and chips. <laughs> it looks so funny. Looks like food. Looks like raspberry sorbet. So I'm kind of starting in the bottom, working it in, working it in, and then kind of working my way up towards the top of the section. I'm going to move kind of as quickly as I can just because I want to make sure my hair is still damp as I go. So you see 
see how bright and colorful it looks when you first apply it, but of course after you rinse it, it doesn't retain that level of color. I wish it did, but we're just gonna try. Don't mind the breakage that you see coming out. It's very normal when you have a crap ton of natural hair that you don't often detangle that you get a lot of little breakies. But the volume that comes out versus the volume that I retain, I retain a lot more than I lose, so I don't stress about that. A few moments later. <gasps> okay. Hello? Hey, Molly. Hey, Kitty. I was just walking. I was just dyeing my hair red. April, leave your hair alone. No. Alright, so this is how my hair looks with the hair mask on for 15 minutes before I rinse it out. You can see there the dye is on, the curl pattern is a little bit pronounced, but I want to rinse it before it starts to dry out um, and see how much of this brightness we retain once we rinse the product out. So I'm going to hop in, I'm going to rinse out all the sections, throw in a hair mask, and I'll be back. Five minutes later. Okay. I just rinsed the bordello out. My bathroom now looks like a murder scene, which is exactly how it should look when you wash out some red uh, hair pigment. I went ahead and applied this. This is an argan oil hydrating hair mask with Moroccan argan oil extract intensive conditioning treatment because I felt like I was just going to need some extra moisture based on the last time that I used that Moroccan oil hair treatment. Um, since we're doing purple masks today and I have to wait for this to set in anyways, I went ahead and used my, um, what is this one called? Tatcha Violet Sea Radiance Mask, which is something that I like to use just over here and there. It's very, very nice. I love Tatcha. Um, so we're just going to let my hair mask, we're going to let my face mask, and 15, 20, you know, however I'm feeling, we're going to rinse it all out. I'll let my hair air dry back into an afro since that's how we started. Um, I'm going to call it a wash and go because I'm not really going to put gel or anything like that. I'm just going to let it dry naturally by itself. Uh, under normal circumstances, I'll probably do a twist out or something, but because that gives, that takes a couple days for results, I have to use like curl butters and all of that. No, I just want to let it dry and see what the texture is after we rinse our stuff out. So I'll be back uh, later on. Well, you know. How long my hair can take to dry? I don't know when I'll be back, but I'll be back as soon as my hair is dry. And all well, this is rinsed out. I'll see you soon. 24 hours later. Okay, I'm back with my results. It is the next day. <laughs> my hair did not dry in one day. That's not realistic. It's not going to happen. Doesn't matter how hot it is. It takes at least a full day for my hair to be actually dry. But now we can see the color that was left by the product. I mean, I think it looks really cool. It's definitely still the same result where my ends that were lighter took on more of the, um, the burgundy pigment and the dark portion of my hair really wasn't that change. Maybe a bit tinted, but overall, I mean, I think it's a cool product. It's pretty innovative. They do have other colors and each one like specifically goes uh, pairs with like a natural hair color like as for like what the results would be like this one is supposed to Tint dark brown hair. Do I feel like it tinted like the really dark part of my hair? Not as much But I still am happy with the results and I think that going back in and doing that second round of um, Like deep conditioning mask really helped with the texture like my hair doesn't feel super dry I let it air dry I didn't put any other products except for a little oil in there and I still have a tiny bit of curl in the afro but I just wanted it to dry like in almost like a virgin state so you could see what it would look like on a true like natural afro uh, textured hair. 
Overall though, I think this is pretty cool. I'm happy with it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And you're already here, you may as well subscribe to my channel, like the video if you liked it, like the video if you didn't like it, subscribe to me even if you hate me. Um, you can make fun of me in your group chat with your friends, but <laughs> I'll be here with more content very soon, so like, subscribe, share, thank you.